Hey loves, it's Gwen with Mystic Tumbleweeds and I'm here to do a beautiful kind of special reading uh, for the month of December moving into the um, new year, especially concentrating on the energies of this planetary conjunction happening on the 21st and you know moving forward the energies simply put are all about justice and peace, okay? Um, and the in this age of Aquarius. So I wanted to, I've already shuffled my Archangel deck, uh, Leo, and um, I'm going to find the Justice card within the deck and see what surrounds it so we can give you better um, guidance for what's coming up in the future, uh, especially concerning peace and justice, okay? Um, so this is for the sign Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, take what resonates, throw the rest out. If you're looking for a personal private reading, I do those too. Just um, email me. All my information is in the box below. Thanks for all those who like and share and subscribe and share these videos. For those who donate, we love you so very much. So I wish you a happy holiday season and a blessed, abundant new year, okay? That you create the magic, you're creating your reality, and, you know, it's, a, it's going to be a beautiful, abundant, blessed new year, okay? Uh, I tuned into my animal deck, too, for you. I wanted to see what energies were surrounding you, Leo. And um, if you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's my cat coming out to play on the windowsill with the blinds while I'm doing your reading. So, of course, for, for my lovely Leos. Okay, so we have the badger spirit coming out. Be fearless and bold. It's interesting how in two of these cards, the sunflower is that is I mean the same flowers here. Sunshiny sunflower, okay. And the badger is a fierce mama, okay. You don't mess with the badger, people know this. Okay. So if the spirit's asking you, there's much passion in this card too. Um and uh, really embracing all your quirks and weird, okay? Being comfortable in your own skin and being fearless and bold. Um, and then this, the cow spirit coming out to say that the miracles are endless. Okay. Know that the, that there's enough for you and your family. And then every, there's enough for everybody. And then some, okay. It's a new kind of mindset, Leo, the turkey feather on the, and you know, all the flowers and the bounty and the abundance and the harvest coming to you. Okay. Start, start truly believing that. Okay. I mean, there's multiple, this is a six card. 15 is a six. And then you've got the white Raven here. Trust in the magic double six. I mean, that's three sixes there already for your reading, right? Trust in the magic. Be fearless and bold. The miracles are endless. I mean, these are all beautiful, powerful statements to even start your reading about justice and peace. So I wanted to show you that first. So let me look in here and find where your justice card is. There it is. Okay. I like to take a few of the surrounding cards with it. It gives me a little bit a better picture here. Okay, one on two on each side of it. I'm noticing that surrounding your justice card is a lot of pink cards. I mean a lot of pink surrounding your card. Your yeah, a lot of pink. And that suit is the aerial suit which speaks to, um, it's pentacles, it's pentacles. Look at all this pentacle around you, material wealth, you know, 3d possession wealth. Okay. Surrounding you, Leo. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. So here's the justice card in this deck. Okay. And it says fight for justice and equality rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Okay. Balancing the scales, the karma coming, your good karma coming back to you. Okay, you've paid your bad karma debt. That's done. This is a new age. This is a new way. Oh wow, this is freaking beautiful. This is beautiful. You've been making the steps, Leo. Yeah, you have because I see the synchronistic numbers here. Whoa, you've got. <laughs> You've got the Queen of Ariel here, which is the Queen of Pentacles, which is opulence and richness and bounty and beautiful goodness. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles 
takes care of herself very well, okay? Always fills her cup up first, all right? And it's reminding you in this card here, this queen, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice, okay? This could be someone in your life giving you this kind of beautiful advice. This queen walks the walk walks the talk, whatever you say, you know what I mean? Like they're, they preach about how that they good to take that. It's important to take care of themselves and they're sh actually showing you how, uh huh. It's important to take, to fill your cup up first. This queen is mature, practical, generous, and happy. That's if that's not a person in your life then the spirits, this is the energy spirit is ha um, asking you to move forward in, you know, this pentacle kind of energy that you may be at this crossroads, though, because the seven of Michael's here. I'll tell you about that number synchronous synchronization here in a minute. It's fucking beautiful. Um, the seven of Michael, the seven of swords. Okay, you see the, the man there making, he's at a crossroads, a fork in the road, okay? And you are supported by the angels, okay? The seven of swords. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Okay. You see, this path has this bright, sunny, shiny blue sky here. And this one's kind of dark and, you know, dreary. Okay. Trust that spirit's got your back. Okay. Working alone. Sometimes we have to ask for help. Right? Right? Okay. Um, and then we've got the six of Ariel here, six of pentacles, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. This is the, this is, this is beautiful. This is where abundance flows to you and through you because you get it. Okay. You are kind and generous to others and that generosity flows back to you tenfold. Okay. So don't get lost in the head about making bad decisions of the past is what I feel with this. You're now recreating. I mean, look at her aura. Look at this aura connected with, with the tree, right? Right? The tree of life there is what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So much pink. So much pink. Pinks, pinks, pinks makes me feel like heart connection, but also the crown connection, okay? Yeah, why not, Leo, believe in that, that your bills get taken care of in magical ways? Why not? Well, instead of worrying, I mean, worrying is a waste of emotion. How am I going to get this done? How am I going to do that? How am I going to make ends meet? Give it up. Give it to God. Give it away. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, let go of the, the, the constant worry of which choice should I make, juggling and that sort of thing. The Queen of Pentacles knows her needs are met. Okay. The five of Ariel here now. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts cre create self-fulfilling prophecies like I told you. You know the right path. Trust your intuition. Okay? Get out of your head. Get into your heart. I keep feeling this with the pink. Get into your heart. Okay? And ask for assistance. You have to put away your pride sometimes. Yes, yes, the Queen of Ariel, Ariel the Queen of Pentacles can be pride. Proud. Okay, and it's good to pat ourselves on the back, but it's also good to be humble. Okay, sometimes we must ask for help. Sometimes the Queen of Pentacles really don't want to do that. I get it. I get it. But it's a time for justice, right? It's a new way of being. Peace for yourself. Peace back. Peace in your heart. You know, because you're just tired of this choices and decisions and can I trust and that sort of thing. Yeah. Your needs are always met, right? Right. You are making the necessary steps, Leo. Yes, you are. I say you are making the necessary steps because it is very evident here that you are. Okay. I can go back. I told you you had that. I mean, look up angel number 666. It's not a bad number. There's too much shit that surrounds that. A beautiful angel number to have but you've got four five six seven eight you want to see it 
Four, be fearless and bold. Five, you needn't go through this alone. Five, okay. Six, your your material needs get fulfilled in unexpected ways. Know that you are truly blessed. There is, the path will be revealed to you when you trust your intuition. Stop doubting. Stop stop getting stuck in the, in the snake brain of the mind. You know what I mean? Ask your angels to show you the right path, the connections. Your material needs will be met. Seven, justice is coming. Okay, you are going to be this queen of pentacles, opulent, rich, successful, loved. She takes good care of herself. Don't get so caught up in the female aspect of it. Okay, these are just the traits. So, you know, you, you're wise now, Leo. Okay, you've matured. You've learned much. You have great common sense. You trust your gut. This is somebody who's very happy. Somebody who's very generous, understands the, the, the feelings of, you know, that I have more than enough. I can give it to, and I don't hold on to my, my currency, my energy. I give it and it flows back to me. I trust spirit's got my back. I'm generous of my heart and of my time and of my skills. Okay. Beautiful messages. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, wishing you so much love and success and abundance in this beautiful new new year, age of Aquarius. Remember, you're creating your reality. So you know, one of those cards in here said something about the, the self-fulfilling prophecies there, I think. I don't know why that's keep coming back into my head. Okay, Negative thoughts creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Be mindful of your thoughts. Okay? You create the abundance in your world. You create it. Be fearless. Be bold, the badger says. Okay? And I mean, with with a magical a guide spirit, the white raven, are you kidding me? Trust in the magic. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. I love you guys.